Hello, welcome to the channel. Oh. Tonight, we're on. What is this? Tonight's guest deal is <clears throat> McEwen's Levy Scottish Beer. Mmm. If I just. I can't remember buying that light and take. Oh, this sounds good. Sounds good. Oh my god! Oh, that's like light. Like pale ale. That's what that's like. Isn't it? That's nice. <sighs> Probably about 10 million calories in here. Wow. 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 What can I say? Apart from... <laughs> it's like... Well, yeah, I used to drink stuff like that years ago. I started drinking in 1980... Yeah, 1980. Yeah, when I was 14. Yeah. So, today, it, I mean, it was raining this morning, but what happened this morning was I knew that the Sham Fleury, Fleury Estates was coming. Um, so I kind of had to stay in. Not, and normally, now that I know that I spoke to the driver, I don't need to stay in for the next time. But I mean, so I bought a heap of wood. Uh, so he, 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 he was brilliant, the guy. You know, Connors is his name. He unloaded it in the back garden, actually. Got a little truck, quite a small truck, with a sort of high-ab hydraulic thing at the back. Absolutely brilliant. You know, it was the best set. It was, really was good. The guy was really good, you know. No problems, no moaning, nothing. Brilliant. Anyway, uh, so that's when we got plenty of wood now. So, so I had to wait. So in between that, so do my usual, I was dithering around in the morning. Sometimes I don't really get into the swing of things till usually in the afternoon when I start to realise I've got to get something done. So after that, I got the van ready at the back of it. The problem is that I, I was on... Arguing about twenty miles per speed limits in, this, in Wales with this guy, and oh god, it's quite. Um, I, I think well, you never really listen to me, and I, I'm not listening to him. I just think it's crazy. Um, you know, there's one of these. So it turns out this guy's actually a, a revolutionary socialist. You know, so the horrors. I mean. Trying to understand other people and why they're motivated the way they are is probably lost cause, isn't it? Really, you're not. You're never actually going to work it out. You know. Um, well, getting to the nitty gritty of things is always a, something that I think you can get if you want to. So when you're arguing over, say, 20 miles per hour limits in this case, um, let's just say it was maybe over vegetarianism or something, which it wasn't. Imagine it was that. And then you really need to get in, uh, an idea of what this person really is all about. In the 20 miles per hour speed limit situation, he actually admitted he was a revolutionary socialist. And that's where a lot of these things are motivated for you know, come from, you know, the measures that are being implemented in by governments. Um, so, you know, it's like, if it, what's that phrase? If it walks like a duck, it quacks like a duck, it's a duck. Well, I don't know, you know, so you try to figure it out. Is it, do, do they not understand history? You know, or, or do I not understand history? You know, so we know what happened in Russia. You know, billions starved to death. 
So the competent farmers got the farms taken off them. They got murdered, raped the women. You know, there's all sorts of atrocities. You know, and there's the gulags and horrors that happened in the Soviet Union. And that happened. So, you know, so basically what this guy did is what my brother did to me as well. He would come up with a book and suggest that I read a book. And so basically if you read a book, you know, you, you have, so I think you have to be sort of inclined that way, you know, to read a specific book about a specific subject. You know, so obviously if you read a book, it's not going to give you, you know, it's not really going to tell you how the world goes around. But maybe if you read lots and lots of books, you might have an idea. But it doesn't mean to say that you don't have no clue if you don't read these books, you know. So my brother did that with me and he'd read a book and it was a political book and he was, basically he was kind of trying to be domineering is not the word but overwhelming in his beliefs that that you were in, sort of stupid and you have to you have to go up with what they believe because they've read these books and I'm of course wrong he this this guy today actually told me I was wrong you know and it got to the point he was he had this really annoying habit of um copying and pasting my comment putting inverted commas in it and then destroying it you know, and he was, he was the type that would find studies. So he'd find studies, studies here, studies there, studies everywhere. And I did that a wee bit, not that much. The reality is that 20 miles for speed limits, you know, you can, you don't need to read books or studies. You know, you can have a little bit of logic. You can have experience. So like me, I'm a driver, so I've been driving since 1983. And... I've got experience with cars and driving. I, I think 20 miles per hour limits are completely stupid, right? I think that's a, a given. I think any normal person would think that. Um, there's no, And then you get into the evidence. This guy was coming up with evidence, so he was just finding stuff all over the place that supported his claims. And there was no nuance to it at all. He didn't find anything that opposed his claims, and I found something that... that opposed his claims and then he debunked it and said it was rubbish and it was this that and he's just like a really strange guy you know so basically I stopped listening to him very early on you know and he, he started getting a bit abusive calling me ignorant and stuff and I just I saw what you've got to try and remember to do when you're debating with anyone is rein it in don't get personal stick to the facts I apologise to him I says look I'm sorry if I have been of, uh, offensive um, but please Please can we, rein, you know, can we stick to the facts and not get abusive? Because he was getting fairly abusive towards me, making out I was thick and everything. And the guy is actually insane, you know, and he, he is insane. Um, in my, from my point of view, you know, I, I don't think twenty miles per hour limit. Like so he's a radical. He said he was a revolutionary socialist. So that's this is all he wants in our Russia, and that's what's going to happen. They want to take their trans. That's what they did in Russia. They took the transport transportation system away. They destroyed the farms, and destroyed the infrastructure. So that's what they're. That's what's happening. That's what a twenty miles per hour limit would do. Destroys the infrastructure. So that's what it really is. It if you boil it right down to what the nitty gritty is, a guy's a revolutionary socialist. That's what he said he was. So I, I don't really perhaps have to work it out. So really, that's why that's why I never never watch Hubnut's videos anymore, or have anything to do with Hubnut because he's he was supporting the twenty miles for speed limits, and I thought somebody who's into motoring who supports that has got to be a total arsehole. But it could be he's a socialist as well. Who knows? I'm not a socialist, right? So it doesn't mean I'm stupid. It just means that 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 my belief system is not aligned with the guy. You know, the his name's Cummins, Robert Cummins. I'm, my my belief system is completely different from his. 
It doesn't mean I'm stupid, right? Uh, I've just developed differently. I've got probably a different personality. Um, so that's the wood there, Shelp Fleur Estates. So I put quite a lot of it. That's kiln dried wood. Uh, quite a lot of it is out in the shed and I took some of it in the house. A lot of it's in crates. I put it in the crates. When it seems a bit overwhelming, uh, but I suppose I'll soon burn it all, but you know what I mean? It seems like, oh my god, I've got too much now. Um, that's the biomass stuff, you know, whatever it's called. Um, so that's got to stay dry, that's why I took that in. Um, right, let's have a look. There's the mini. Right, I'm, so I've got to get myself... I was in the art studio today trying to clear it out. Uh, I need to get started in the art for... And the, the, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get art done for the Bridge of Allen show. So I'm going to do an auto jumble, but I'm going to have art there as well. I'm going to go down as an auto jumbler though. Um, you know, so that that's... Right, so let's have a quick look at this and I'll get going. I'm yabbing away too much here. Um, so we've got a usual comment. This one, it's, it's, get a job. I mean, I've had that a million times, you know. It's actually a really narcissistic, stupid thing to say to somebody. You don't know my situation, you know. You think that you've got the right to tell me what to do or advise me what to do. Well, you don't, you know. And, you know, you shouldn't give unsolicited advice, you know. Um, it's not... A good idea, making assumptions about people like that bumblebee man, you know, how do I know you've got a job, you know, um, do I care if you've got a job? No, I don't, uh, so, so you know, you should never say that to somebody, get a job, I mean, it's like, you know, get a life, you know, um, so that's that dealt with, it is particularly irritating that one, yeah. Um, there's a, there's quite a lot of phrases that I get now. I mean, I've been doing YouTube for a while now, so uh, you know, I just block them. I don't even bother, you know. Certain little, I would call them low resolution comments, you know, that are just like dim. Four thousand and fifty-five. Um, I'm really not wanting to go into Facebook and show you this idiot. I'll do it quickly, right? Um, it's quite crazy. Um, Really, he, he's one. He's, he's pretty. Doesn't seem to shut up, you know. Um, a lot of projection. A lot of projection. Uh, Robert Cummins, uh, insane, insane guy. Yeah. Um, a lot of projection. So you say things like. Uh, you say things like. Uh, So here, see what he says here. Um, here is the UK government study. Is there something wrong with you? I mean, seriously. You know, again, the same report that this came by. It was about your own link discredited. I'm done with you. There's something seriously wrong with you. You keep the same debunk link over and over again. I mean, he's, he's been doing that to me all, all along this thing. I've, I've only started doing what he... Right from the very start, he was copying and pasting what I said to him and putting it up the top like that, that's his style. It's really irritating because it it kind of makes him look like he's a robot or something. I'm done with you. Well, I, I was done with you a long time ago, Robert, you know. Um, you, you're making sort of assertions and wild claims that you've debunked this and debunked that and you've got all this and that and the other. You, you're, I actually started to work out he's not, this guy's definitely not right in the head, you know I mean? I mean, anybody that believes in uh, socialism like that, like that, is not right in the head, you know. Um, I mean, definitely. Was, so basically, I mean, I started like just pasting stuff at him, but that's what he—that's what he was doing to me, you know. And so I suppose, in his from his point of view, he thought it was okay that he could do it to me, but when I started doing it to him, he didn't seem very happy. I mean. So, you know, so this is what he did. So I said that to him there, and he'd copy that 
and like chuck it back. So he, he's looking for evidence, you know, and um, the guy's a, a nut, you know. I mean, this is a is this a real human being, you know? So so we're in evidence and uh, you know. So this guy says to him, it's primary school, that's where pollution will increase. You know, so there's a lot of sensible people coming on here, like Gareth, Tuckwell, sensible. So this Edward Ruskin, well, it will not, because that's not what they wish to discuss at this time. It's a managed approach to removing you and I from personal transport. Don't worry, though, when the times it will become news, just not right now. So he's on the money. That's what it's for. So you're really looking at communism here. So um, so basically, what what he's sorry, he's sorry away with the fairies. This guy, like, you know, uh, signs from all over the world. He says doesn't support you. Downside lower speed limits, traffic moves more smooth. I mean, why would you spend? Hours arguing about 20 miles per hour speed limit. You know, like, why would I spend hours arguing about it? Um, Supreme is nobody saying that's means because I we are saying that speed. I mean, here it goes again, here it goes again. It's insane. The guy's insane, you know. So, Gareth says you can quote select Gareth's right, you can quote whatever selective nonsense you like from areas that are next to. Increases in pollution, but it's simple. An ice engine will pollute more when running at a lower efficiency and for longer. So, because I brought out the University of Belfast, that got so everything I brought out got rubbished by Robert. Robert rubbished everything that I and everything that he brought out. I didn't rubbish it necessarily. Well, I kind of did, but you know, I I don't. I think it's at the end of the day. I'm a driver. I know twenty miles per hour is nonsense. You know, so we get tied up in studies and, you know. See, this is what he does. He copied what I said to him. Now he doesn't like it. But when I do it, the guy's mad. He is mad. But I'm, so I'm not speaking to him now because, you know, you can't you can't negotiate with somebody like this. Um, you know, so this goes on and on and on. So he wants me to read the links um, that he posts. I don't want to read his links. I don't want to read his rubbish. I don't believe in him. I don't believe in what he's saying. I don't agree with what he's saying. Um, so that's the sort of answer I was getting from him. And then he called me a conspiracy nut. Don't tell me COVID was all a scam, right? You know, and it's... When he's right, I post like support my claims. So this is the sort of guy that that would, if he could post a link to support something that everybody knows is completely wrong, then that makes it right in his mind. So the CIA, what I said to him is CIA introduced the term conspiracy theory. So so he rubbished that and said it was it was some other, you know, um, this is when he was on about the book. So he's calling me ignorant. Um, so here's a UK government study on 20 miles per hour limits um, is there something wrong with you I mean it's projection pure projection there's something wrong with him you know I mean I know what's wrong with me you know I, I'm no doubt about it So really, I'm on about um, because he said he was a, a revolutionary socialist. You know, I'm I'm now moving on. To, so what what it is is the famine of 1921 and 1922 was a controversial and politicised subject, and both the numbers of dead and causes of the famine were disputed. The estimated number of famine victims 
either through starvation or associated diseases, varies from 1 million to 10 million people. The 5 million dead is the, is the figure most frequently quoted. Severe drought, failed harvests, continuous war since 1914, and resulting damage to property, displacement of population, destruction, listen to this, destruction of the transport system and killing of animals. It's a dis- So that, I mean, all these things are on the cards. Cards. Forced collectivisation of farms, a requisition of grain and seed from peasants preventing the sowing of crops by the Soviet authorities and the economic blockade of the Soviet Union by the Allies were all contributing factors to the severity of the famine. So it's destruction of the transport system. That's what this is part of. That's what Robert wants. Um, you know, what the effect was a famine in 1920 could do with 20 mile speed limits? <laughs> You're a fucking nutcase. I'm not sawed off and bother someone else. <laughs> I must be getting to him now. I don't, this guy's definitely not right in the head. Um... Try not to be abusive, please. Should be obvious. So the the link is, you know, you you take a step up a gear, and or sometimes people are complete idiots and they don't know. too much. Back it off a bit. Should be obvious. You know, this guy's really mad, like, yeah, definitely. Um, so he told me he was a, um, I don't know, I don't know if he's removed what he said. Sometimes people do that. Um, it was about the um, revolutionary um, you know it's, it, some, there are some people that are insane and you're never really going to get any ah, there it goes right Robert the CIA introduced the term you know it's, he's quoting me there you know conspiracy theorist to invalidate genuine concerns from opponents of their anti-communist agenda don't show your ignorance, he says to me, any more than you have. I recommend you read The Open Society and Its Enemies by Karl Popper. You'll find that the terms conspiracy theorist have been around since the 1870s. As for my politics, I would describe myself as a revolutionary socialist. I mean, but, you know, I've recommended Jordan Peterson's stuff in this thread. And... Um, I'll go and do that. You know, so he's he's he thinks that he's got to recommend to me all his stuff's correct, all my stuff's rubbish. You know, uh, I mean, you know, the only sort of if you like, the only sort of I am sort of getting back at him to a certain extent by putting this on YouTube. You know, um, whether he sees it or not. People can see what a nutter he is, you know. Um, th- I mean, there's there's a whole load of stuff here, you know. Uh, so this is what he does. He he copies what what somebody says, and then I know it's sort of person I'm dealing with. Then he said he was a revolutionary. So I, I said, if civil war happens, you'll be toast and be a good thing for humanity. I think it probably would be better for humanity if people like him disappear. But that's that's probably. No, I shouldn't have said that, so I went and removed it because I was that wasn't fair, you know. I shouldn't say that. 
So, so not long after that, he told me he's a revolutionary socialist. So what's the rev? What does that mean, revolutionary? You know, that means you want to destroy the government. So I, he said this exactly the same thing in different terms than what I've said. I don't think COVID was a scam, but I find it quite strange that that a, a disaster would happen and people would profit from it. Does the empty else think that's strange or or not strange? It's just un. Consolable. It's not. It's unthinkable that that it'd be like me making profit out of somebody up the street crashing their car or something. I got make loads of money out, you know. Or, or so they're making so much. They made. They have made so much. They've made millions out of this. Uh, you know their vaccines and everything. So I'm not saying it's a scam, but yeah, it was highly suspicious. Um, I think it possibly was a bit of a scam. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a lot of doubts about it how it happened and who was behind it. Um, but at the time, I mean, the other thing is, if this guy's really bright, right, and he's got a good job or something, or whatever, um, why why would you spend hours on here arguing with a complete stranger? Oh, what a moron. Moronic, so that's, that's, that's how big this is. Uh, I don't know if there's anybody else really involved with this. There's a couple of people. And really what it was, was this. And road safety in Wales. Uh, it's about mobile phones. It's not even about 20 miles per limit. But what the, the point was, this Ross Hone said, was a very good point. You can text, read a paper, doing 20 miles per hour, Make a swan sandwich, bake a cake, take a nap, boil a kettle, make coffee, browse Facebook, have a full blown conversation with driver coming towards you, do your makeup, blow dry your hair, hop out and post a letter while the car's still moving. The list is endless. But somebody made the point, I don't know what it is. Ah, this one. Floyd Roy, not much different to all those you now see in EVs messing with the giant iPad like screens on the dash. Even seen some playing games on the screens whilst driving. Good point, Floyd, yeah. So we're not allowed to use our phones. But you can have a car that's got a built-in screen, and you touch that, and it, you know, that's not. It's part of the car. That doesn't make sense, you know. Right. I mean, this guy is completely mad. Um, right. Oh, oh, that, that's probably. I've been on a bit about this a bit much. Um, mm, cheers. I mean, I can't really, this is Wednesday, so I shouldn't really have any more, probably have one, can't, well, I've got to go to a funeral on Friday. This is one of the things I've got for Sheila, uh, Michael Jackson, uh, I might keep that actually, yeah, I think I'll keep that, I tell you, I'll keep that and it'll remind me of Sheila. Yeah, yeah. It's like a sort of memento from someone, eh? Someone that's died. I mean, she's like, that's quite sad, really, what happened. Tragic, it's tragic in that. Oh, right, but it's tragic what happened. Why would somebody self destruct like that? Maybe, maybe people, maybe she thought life was a game. I don't know if she did or not. And that she could get carers to help her and all this and all the rest of it and she could do whatever she wanted and smoke and drink tins of juice and just sit around and not not con she went she went walking and everything with her mother about I think about 10 years ago and they lost a lot of weight and got down to the very healthy and everything her mother did that to try and help her and she just went back to her I don't know why. Why do people have a self-destruct thing in them? Some people. I don't really get it. I mean, I've probably got self-destruct thing in me, but I've managed to pull myself out of it and and look after myself to a certain extent and enjoy life. Well, so the next thing, I'm going to wait to book my, my break down in England, April the 1st, and then I've also got to book in the Bridge of Allen Car Show. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye! Remember me?
Nächte, like, bye.